Good morning. It's Monday, July 29th. I'm Melissa Kane, and for Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. Time now is 6.31. We begin with the latest on yesterday's mass shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. CBS News has learned the gunman has been identified as 19-year-old Santino William Legan. We've also learned 6-year-old Stephen Romero was the youngest victim. Romero and two others were killed when a man with a rifle opened fire at the annual event just yesterday evening. At least 12 other people were hurt before police shot and killed the gunman. Investigators are still trying to determine whether the shooter had help. We are live with team coverage this morning. Jackie Ward is at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center with more on the victims, but let's begin with Ann Makovic at the Police Command Center with the latest from investigators. Ann? Yeah, and so many questions this morning uh, as to this man's motive in this case, why he would go into this popular family friendly festival and open fire, killing three people before police shot and killed him. The scene was absolutely chaotic. Here is some cell phone video taken right after the shots rang out yesterday evening. Police say the gunman had used a tool to cut through a fence near a creek that borders a parking lot, and that allowed him to bypass the security security checkpoints to get into the festival. They otherwise have metal detectors. And then at 541, just as the festival was wrapping up, he opened fire with some sort of rifle, killing three people, including that six year old boy. Witnesses say it appeared as if he was shooting at random and there were thousands of people at the festival. We uh, heard last night from a father and son from Southern California. I thought I was going to die. Why did you think that? Since they were like, like 40 feet away from us. What did you do? I went under a table. And you stayed there? Yeah, until they, until the police got them. But I heard like maybe a hundred shots. A hundred? That's what it seemed like to me, a lot. There were a lot of shots I heard. A lot of like, it sounded like a lot of firecrackers at first, but just kept going. It must have been kept going for about seven, you know, seven minutes or something like that. Within about a minute from the time that the first shot rang out, police were able to shoot and kill the suspect. But this morning, they are still looking for a potential second suspect. We don't know what involvement in the shooting that person might have had or if that person uh, was just helping the shooter, some sort of accomplice. We know the FBI, the ATF, and several local law enforcement agencies are on the scene right now at Christmas Hill Park. I'm at the command post right now. We are expecting a news conference from authorities coming up at 10 this morning, but the uh, mayor of Gilroy posted on Facebook this morning. He doesn't have a lot of new information. Obviously, city leaders here are just uh, absolutely overwhelmed and floored by what happened here yesterday. So we're going to keep you posted as that news conference goes on, but we want to go right now to Jackie Ward. She is live at one of the hospital where uh, one of the dozen victims was taken. Jackie. Yeah, and actually a lot of victims are scattered throughout the South Bay this morning, recovering from yesterday's shooting with various injuries, and some of them are here at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center in San Jose. The last time we spoke to someone here, they told us they were, they were treating at least seven of the 12 victims. Three people were killed, including six-year-old Stephen Romero. He was called Little Stevie, and he was shot in the back. He died at St. Louis Medical Center in Gilroy. His mother, Barbara, was being treated here at Santa Clara, but she was transferred to Stanford for surgery. We believe Stephen's grandmother, also named Barbara, is still recovering here at Santa Clara. Six gunshot patients were initially taken to St. Louis Medical Center. Two of them transferred to Santa Clara Valley Medical Center. They had already had been treating uh, five gunshot patients and then got those two from St. Louis, which brought the total being treated here to seven at one point. The hospital spokeswoman told us the injuries range from fair to critical. All the ones here at Santa Clara Valley Medical Center are gunshot wound victims. St. Louis, in addition to the initial six gunshot victims that they received, they have now received another eight people with other types of injuries. 
So some people are recovering obviously from very serious gunshot wounds. Others are just trying to um, heal up some scrapes and bruises they got from falling as they were trying to run to safety. Someone also has a broken ankle. Sanford Medical Center has confirmed that they have admitted two victims, but we don't know their status. In addition to that six year old boy, some of the victims range from their 20 somethings to older than 50 in San Jose. Jackie Ward KPIX 5. We're hearing from people who were at the festival as the shots were fired. One survivor described dodging bullets and helping others escape. Um, like I said, I felt one of the bullets go over my head and then we actually seen a couple of bullets fly by. Um, and that's when we just helped everybody get out of the way, get out of the scene. What were you thinking of? Scared? Scared. I mean, I thought for sure I was going to get shot. I kept looking at myself just because we were right there. Yeah, and um, like when the, when the bullets go over, like what kind of noise? Is it was like a uh, bumblebee, like a buzzing sound. Like, uh, make, make the noise. It's like zzz, and you just hear the shoo, and you just feel the feel the wind. You could feel it go over. Witnesses tell us the gunshots sounded like fireworks. They say the chaos started when the sound kept going. Then people started to run for their lives. Some even jumped over bodies to escape. I'm Katie Nielsen at the live news desk. Reaction continuing to pour in on social media this morning. Now, first, we'd like to show you a tweet from presidential hopeful and, oh, I'm sorry, from California Governor Gavin Newsom. He says this is nothing short of horrific. Grateful for the law enforcement efforts, their continued work as this situation develops. And then presidential hopeful and California Senator Kamala Harris says simply horrific. I'm grateful to the first responders who are on the scene in Gilroy and my thoughts are with that community tonight. Our country has a gun violence epidemic that we cannot tolerate. Moments after the shooting in Gilroy, these people were gathered in a prayer circle. The man seen there in the white shirt is thanking God for saving them and is also praying that police catch whoever it was that they were looking for at that time, heads bowed in prayer. As I said, immediately after the service, that was some video that was posted to social media. And of course, we will continue to keep you updated on this situation throughout the morning. At the Live News Desk, I'm Katie Nielsen. Back to you. Katie, thank you. And be sure to stay with KPIX 5 for all the latest developments on this mass shooting at the Gilroy Garlic Festival. We are expecting an update from authorities on the scene at 10 o'clock this morning, and we'll be sure to bring that to you live when it happens. You can also find a live stream on our website, kpix.com.